Kasi yung mga given natin kaninang example, sir, yung mga example po kanina, sir, kasi puro isa lang ang ating object of interest. O, gawin natin. etong system na to, yung system of interest kanina, sir, isa lang eh. Ito, system of interest natin, dalawa. Sir, ano po yung magiging system of interest natin? Paghiwalay natin. Isa sa system of interest natin si A, si Kau. And the other uh, system of interest is si B. Ngayon, meron tayong dalawang system of interest. If we're going to cut this one, meron tayong dalawang system of interest. Now, this is now what you call the action-reaction pair. So, dito na papasok yung concept natin about the third law. <coughs> Excuse. Now, what is the action force in this figure? Sa drawing na to, ano daw dyan si action force? So, yung action force natin or the force 1 ay yung force na in-apply ni Kao. Okay? Going right. Next. Which system exerted the action force? Sino ngayon yung system na nag-apply ng action force? Definitely, si Kao yun. Okay. O, next. <coughs> what is the reaction force? So, ano po, sir? Kasi action-reaction eh. Pag may action, meron daw dapat reaction. So, ang action force natin dito will be F2. Okay. Yung F2 po ay si wagon. Okay, which system exerted the reaction force? So, ang nag-exert ng reaction force dito ay si B. Siya si wagon. Okay, si wagon. Okay, now. Sir, ano po ang mga application ng action-reaction? Pag action-reaction, always remember, dapat uh, merong dalawang system. Okay? Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng action-reaction kapag isa lang yung system. Okay? Dalawa dapat ang system. Okay, let us look at this one. Ano yung action? Yun, yung red. etong red. The boy hits the wall. So, sinuntok niya yung wall. Now, ano po yung reaction, sir? So, sa reaction, si reaction dyan, the wall hits the boy. Si boy daw ay nahit din ni wall. Okay, we have A and B. So, sa action-reaction, guys, tandaan nyo lang, Kung si A hits B, dapat si B hits A. Okay, mag apply din ng force si B papunta kay A. While si A mag apply ng force papunta kay B. That is what you call action, reaction. Let us have another uh, example that shows action, reaction. Okay, yun. So, soccer player. O, tingnan natin closely kung anong nangyayari dyan. Okay, so ito, mas malapit. O, so, anong action natin dyan? Yung action natin, yung red. The head of that boy hits the ball. So, ano po yung reaction? The ball hits the head. Ito naman, pointing of nose. Tingnan natin closely kung anong nangyari. Now, what is the action? The finger hits the nose. What is the reaction? The nose hits the finger. Next. Another example, guys. Ayan, baseball bat. So, what is the action-reaction there? Action. The bat hits the ball. What is the reaction? 
the ball hits the bat. Another example. What is the action? A man lifts the barbell. So that is the action. Now, anong reaction? The barbell hits the man down. Okay? What have you noticed about yung mga arrow? Okay? What have you noticed about the arrow? For action-reaction, dapat daw, tandaan nyo ha, may tatlong things na makukonsider natin for action-reaction. First, they are opposite in direction. Balikan natin yung mga example natin kanina. Tandaan nyo guys sa ano, opposite yung direction. Action, reaction, magkaiba ng direction. Action, reaction, magkaiba ng direction. Action, reaction. Action, reaction. Yan. Next. Isa pa, if they have opposite direction, sunod daw dapat, uh, they are equal in magnitude. So, kung gano'n kalakas yung force ng isa, gano'n din dapat kalakas yung force ng isa. Sir, paano namin malalaman? You just look at the arrow. Kung magkasing laki yung arrow, ibig sabihin, it represents that the magnitude of the force are the same. Siyempre, kung mahaba yung isa, halimbawa, ito si action hanggang dito, tapos ito lang si reaction, hindi sila balance. Hindi equal yung magnitude nila. Last thing that you have to know about action-reaction. Action-reaction acts on two different interacting system. Sa mga binigay natin example kanina, isa lang yun. Tapos nagbigay tayo ng dalawa. Yung naalala nyo si cow tsaka si wagon. Yun. Action-reaction yun. Kasi merong dalawang system. Isang system si cow, isang system si wagon. This time, ganun din. Isang system, kagaya nito, yung lalaki, isang system yung pag-lift niya, then yung barbell, pag-lift niya sa barbell, isang system na yan. Yung susunod na system, si barbell, mag-apply din ng force to ba? Ganun din to. Isang system si ball, isang system si bat. Tandaan nyo yung tatlo, ha? Una, Opposite daw dapat ng direction. For action-reaction to happen, dapat opposite ng direction. Pangalawa, equal ng magnitude ang force. Pangatlo, they act on different system. So, dapat may dalawang system. Pag isang system lang yan, walang action-reaction na mangyari. Okay. Action-reaction forces. Okay, baligan natin. Ang action-reaction forces daw, do not cancel each other. Since they act on two different objects or system. So, sa action-reaction, hindi natin nakakancel yung, uh, hindi natin nakakancel yung mga forces. Anong dahilan? Tandaan nyo ha. Hindi raw nakakancel sa action-reaction ng forces. The reason is, they act on different objects or system. Tandaan guys, they act on different objects or system. Now, If you're going to look at this one, thank you nga pala sa ano, na tinamad ako mag-drawing eh. Kinuha ko na lang yan dun sa module nyo. Thank you dyan. Ayan, nilagay ko siya para i-credit yung gumawa ng caricature na yan. Okay. What are the action-reaction pairs in this figure? So, mayroong mga action-reaction pair dyan sa figure na yan na nagpapakita ng action-reaction. Tandaan nyo, dalawang system dapat. Kaya nyo bang magbigay ng at least anim na action-reaction? Bigay ako ng isa. O, ito yung isa ko. Si, si Traktora, yung Traktora, nag apply ng force sa rope. Sa rope. Then si rope, nag apply naman ng opposite force kay Traktor. O, yun yung isa ko. Pangalawa. Si rope, nag apply ng force papunta kay man. Then si man, nag apply ng force papunta kay, ah, papunta sa kanya. Okay, another. Yung traktora, nag apply ng force opposite papuntang left. Si man naman, nag apply ng force papuntang right. So nakita nyo, nakapagbigay na agad ako ng tatlo dito pa lang. Oh, magbigay pa kayo ng tatlo pa kasi kailangan ko anin. 
Pag-isipan yung maigi. <coughs> okay. Oh, ito pa yung saong question. Why do act why do action reaction forces do not cancel each other? Bakit daw hindi nakakancel sa action reaction forces? Bakit hindi nila nakakancel yung isa't isa? So binigay ko na yung sagot kanina, ayan no. Oh. Action reaction forces do not cancel each other since they act on different objects or system. So kapag dalawang system ang nasa action reaction, hindi nila makakancel ang isa't isa. Meron talagang mangyayari at mangyayari. For example, meron tayong car. Then meron tayong traktor. Okay. Ang bigat ng car is 450, uh, 450 kilogram. Well, si traktor is 650 kilogram. Uh, let us say car A, then traktor or truck is B. Okay, if we're going to uh, hit, kung magbabanggaan sila, ano kaya ang mangyayari? So, ito yung bigat niya, ano, ha? 450 kilogram while 650 kilogram si B. So, car A, if we're going to look at this one, pag nagbanggaan yung dalawa, car A experiences, si car A will experience a greater force than car B. Sir, bakit po? ba diba sabi natin sa action-reaction, hindi natin nakakancel? Sir, bakit po hindi natin nakakancel? Kasi they act on two system. So, meron tayong dalawang system. System A at system B. So, pag nagtamaan sila, kitang-kita naman natin yung magnitude nila magkaiba. Kailan lang nakakancel yun? Kapag pare silang magnitude. Ang laki nung arrow ko dito. That shows the force. 650 kilogram, tapos ito, 450. Pag bumangga yan dyan, si 650 kilogram, car A will experience a greater magnitude force than B. Kasi, it's either tatalsik siya, onte. Hindi man malaki, pero onte. Kasi mas malakas yung force. So we will have car A experience greater magnitude than car B if that will happen. Sir, bakit po ganun? Ang nangyari, sabi niyo sa kaninang situation, si car A daw will experience a greater force compared to B. Kasi nagbanggaan siya. Dahil mas malaki yung force ni car B. Pag tumama siya, ito mga karamdam ng mas malakas. Next. So, si car A, car B. O, punta tayo dito. The action-reaction forces are unequal which lead to the greater push to the car. Okay, kasi naging unequal na. Naging unequal sila kaya yung push ay mas malakas. The action-reaction force are unequal which lead to the greater push to the car. So ang car ngayon tatalsik. Okay, 